Hey guys, welcome back, Fast Monty's Garage. If you missed last episode, we put this AN hose in on the radiator, and I also promised you guys I would start the car. Well, I forgot about something. <laughs> so those of you that have been paying attention, I have not bled the clutch yet because I put a hydraulic clutch in. And if you're new, here's the start of that playlist. This is the end of the playlist because today we're going to put a hydraulic fluid in the reservoir and bleed the clutch. My apologies. That was not intentional and I totally missed it. So today we're going to do that. And if you're going to do it at home, you're going to need a partner. So I'm going to either get my son or my wife. Haven't picked yet. I don't think my son can reach the pedals. I don't even know if my wife can reach the pedals, actually. So we'll find out. Let's get going. All right, guys, as you recall, here's the reservoir we put in. When we first put our master cylinder in. And there's a little um, diaphragm in there. I think this is for anti-slosh, so we can take those out. And since it's bone dry, I'm going to go ahead and fill this all the way and then let it soak in a little bit. And then we'll get under the car and we'll crack the bleeder screw and try and get this through the piston. So what I'm using today, everyone, is Will Wood EXP 600 Plus. It's the same stuff I'm using in my brake system because I have Will Wood brakes as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in again. About three quarters to almost all the way full. And, and I don't have my hood on the car, which is actually helpful because I can see what I'm doing. All right, guys, you can kind of see it making its way in there. You know, the fluid level is decreasing. See that? So that's good. It's filling up the reservoir and hopefully creeping down the line to the clutch uh, throwout bearing cylinder. So I'm going to wait a little bit and then put some more in. All right, guys, so I just figured out why it was draining so fast. The bleed screw was open, left a nice puddle on my garage floor. <laughs> so I forgot. I'm human. So check that before you fill this. So we're going to do this again. All right, so the volume stabilized. Makes more sense now. <laughs> Had some air come out, which is good. Now we'll get under the car and we'll crack that screw and see if we can get some consistent flow out of it, then tighten it, and then we start actually adding pressure on the clutch pedal. All right, guys, so under the car, I have this little catch can device back in my BMW tuner days. So it's a little rubber hose connected to a bottle and then just hanging. I like it because when we crack this, we should be able to see bubbles or solid. So we're going to slowly crack it and we're going to uh, tighten it when it gets to be solid. Then we're going to go refill the reservoir. And then that's when you need to get someone to start pushing on the clutch pedal. So here we go. So you don't have to do this. You can just put a you know, drip bucket and, and watch it come out, but we'll see how this works. See the bubbles coming out? Now it's solid, I'll tighten it. So now go get a partner and someone's gonna have to start pushing the clutch pedal for you. So I gotta go track down my wife, I'll be right back. All right guys, I got my assistant. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have, have your assistant slowly push the pedal down while you crack the bleed screw to get more bubbles out. And then when they're all the way down, I've asked my wife to tell me when she's all the way down. And then I'm going to tighten it, and then she's going to go back up. Okay, Mama, nice and easy. Down. Okay, go back up. Okay, go again. Down. 
Okay, go back up. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this off. And I'm going to test the pedal feel. There's no more air coming out. All right, guys, so I did a pedal test, and it's firm the whole way, which is awesome. I don't feel any gaps of being soft, so I think we're good. So before we put our, our uh, this little diaphragm back in, Make sure you're about a third of the way up. If you're more than that, you're going to have to take, take some fluid out. So you can either get a pump or like a measuring spoon probably and just start scooping some out. Because as soon as you put this in, it's going to fill the gaps and you don't want to overflow. Hey guys, that was easy. <laughs> Man, so don't forget to tighten the bleed screw before you put fluid in, number one. Number two, if you don't have that contraption I have, you can actually get a, a piece of like um, air tubing for a fish tank and stick it on there because it makes it really easy to see when the fluid is solid versus having bubbles in it. I love that trick. Uh, so you can just put it in a little catch can and then throw it out with your dirty oil and you're good. So hopefully you guys learned something and I promise the next episode we are going to start this thing. So subscribe if you haven't. It's going to be fun. I am a nervous wreck over it because it's been a while. I hope everything goes smoothly. Anyway, you guys know the drill. Build them fast. Drive them faster. See ya.